We weren't sitting down and creating a McMansion. We were sitting down every day with a blank canvas on my desk and we painted, we didn't paint a painting, we painted a masterpiece. I'm Susie Banks and I work with European Bath Kitchen Tile and Stone to create some of the greatest bathrooms and kitchens here in San Diego. We shine in material managing, not just creating the space but getting the project in on time, on budget and at the dates that are required. Susie Mullins was so much fun to work with, immediately uh, took, the, took the edge off, took the stress out of it. Also as a creative individual, she allows you the ability to uh, think outside the box. When I first met Kate, she laid the plans out on my desk and it was an empty slate. What really helped us, I think, in creating the bathroom and the kitchen spaces is that we didn't take the whole house and do all of the plumbing and then take the whole house and do all of the tile and stone. We took every single room one thing at a time and created what the color of the stone would be, what the color, the finishes of the, uh, whether it's chromium or gold or uh, satin nickel, and, and we married those all together so that they came out with an, just an amazing finished product. Susie's energy, her great sense of, of humor, uh, her creative talents, her incredible depth of knowledge about her products, plumbing fixtures and tile and stone, just made it such a, uh, a, an easy process. Even though we had 17 bathrooms, Susie's organization and competence made that uh, a manageable project. When we did the first bathroom in this house, it was the bathroom for the guest house. I still didn't understand the magic of this project, that it, we weren't just gonna throw this house up based on a drawing. The kitchen sink is made by a company out of England called Shaw's Originals. They started making their first sinks in 1897. Each one is handmade by its own artist. In fact, if you would turn the sink over, the sink is signed by the artist that makes it. The outside of the wine room is covered in very large and very small split face Jerusalem gold. The thing that, that I love the most about it is it looks very rustic and it is, but it is created in a, in a factory by a monastery in, in Tunisia. We created this space that we call the wine room powder. It's just outside of the wine room. We took split face three by six Jerusalem gold and mixed it with a mosaic that's sourced in, in Tunisia. The entire floor is made of this eight by eight Tunisian mosaic inlaid. The sink is a boulder of green granite that's cut in half and polished. And then from the middle of the Tunisian mosaic going around the room in the split stone is a pipe that comes out of the wall that's finished in a, a rustic copper. And you just hold your hands near it and it's a sensor called radius, radius technology sensor. So the water just pours out into your hands. In the casino powder room, uh, there's a glass pedestal. This glass pedestal is made by Sheila and Jerry Fine, and they make absolutely the finest glass sinks that are made on the planet. And when you see the glass pedestal that's in the casino powder, it just takes your breath away. Above that powder room uh, sink is a faucet made by a company called THG. Every single faucet that comes through that company is handled by at least six people. The crystals brought in for this pot faucet from Sawarski. Went back and forth with the designer in this bathroom because it is multicolored onyx on the floor and, and it's, it's beautiful. The, I walk into that powder room and I feel like I'm in old royal Hollywood. It's just amazing. When we created the space for the his and hers master bathroom, we took sister stones sister marbles. For his side, we chose a, a marble called Empador Dark. It's a very dark brown masculine marble. And we took an inset of a seashell called Black Lip. And on her side, we took the sister marble in the lighter color, and that's called Botticino. We polished Botticino and took beautiful mother of pearl insets. We did his in all solid metal, satin nickel, handles that married the exact same handles on her side in gold, yet hers are crystal handles. On his side, uh, the sink is metal. On her side, it's glass. And then his shower is a steam shower. It's all in the Empador Dark with the Troika. It is a very nice shower head, body sprays, and steam. And then you walk into the center shower, which is hers, and we created three capsules that sort of hug each other in a circle. And in all three of those capsules, we created separate, true, unbelievable spa experiences. In one of them, we took Kohler and his wonderful waterfall spa treatment. The second one is an actual jetted tub. Also, at the top of that one is a true deluge shower head that comes out, but it's a shower head. 
And in the third circle, that'll be her everyday shower. And in that one, there's a standard shower head, amazing crystal handles to turn on that shower head, and also to turn on the body sprays, which will spray at both angles. We took the black lip seashell in two, two different rings around the top, and then there's a, a very top dome that was weeks and weeks and weeks in, in a, an artist installing a mosaic of the mother of pearl and the black lip that's just, take your breath away. In the cabana, we tried to create a space that takes you back to Indonesia. And, and not to the Indonesia of huts, but to the Indonesia of the Indonesian royalty. The sink in the cabana area is this beautiful gold travertine sink. And in my travels, I was very lucky to be able to go to this factory. It's just outside of Querétaro, Mexico. They take these blocks and they roll them in on logs. And then they cut the blocks by hand put them in front of these women and they hand carve with machinery these beautiful sinks. Every room it took on the personality of the person that was going to be there and every tiny detail was gone over 25 times. She is an amazing designer on her own, right? Uh, when, when you have a mutual respect for the person that you're dealing with, ideas can flow freely back and forth and it just makes the end result that much better. People ask me to try to describe this house and, and they'll say, you know, is it Tuscan? Is it Spanish? Is it French? And I tell them, no, it's reminiscent of Tuscan, but it's absolutely a custom mansion. And I tell everyone, you could hold, I would hold this house up to the Hearst Castle. It's just so beautiful. You can't look in any corner or crevice of this home and not see a beautiful detail. There was never an easy day. It was absolutely a challenge and it was an experience that made me think so far out of the box every day. I do a ton of amazing, amazing projects and this is one of the ones I'm very blessed to be a part of.